Welcome to the RTO Superhero Podcast with me, Angela Connell Richards, where we will explore the complexities of compliance and how to ensure business success within your RTO. This podcast is for anyone within the training industry who wants to learn from my experience as an RTO consultant, RTO manager, trainer and assessor, and entrepreneur, as well as the experience of other experts in this field. Listen in and let us help you become the RTO superhero you want to be. Hello and welcome to the RTO Superhero Podcast with me, Angela Connell Richards. Today, we're going to dive into the world of vocational education and training and explore the challenges and benefits of delivering engaging training within the sector. We'll discuss the latest trends in educational technology and the most effective strategies for engaging learners in VET programs. By the end of the podcast, you'll be armed with actionable insights that you can use to improve your VET programs and boost learner engagement. Let's begin by discussing the importance of engaging learners in the VET sector. We all know that motivated and engaged learners are more likely to succeed in their studies. And this is particularly true in the VET sector, where practical, hands-on skills are often the focus. So how can an RTO ensure that their training is engaging and effective? Best Practices for Engaging Students Using Technology Effectively One of the best ways to engage students is by leveraging the power of technology. The world of educational technology, or edtech, is constantly evolving, and there are numerous tools and platforms available that can greatly enhance the learner's experience for VET students. Let's discuss some of the most effective edtech strategies for engaging students in the VET sector. Firstly, let's have a look at gamification. Gamification is the process of incorporating game-like elements into non-game contexts, such as learning environments. In the VET sector, gamification can be used to make learning more enjoyable and engaging. For example, an RTO might create a game-based training module where students earn points, badges, or other rewards for completing tasks and demonstrating their understanding of the course material. Gamification can also be used to encourage a friendly competition amongst students, which can further motivate them to succeed. Another emerging trend in EdTech for VET is the use of social learning platforms. Social learning is the process of learning through interaction with others. In the context of VET, This might include using discussion boards, chat rooms, or other online tools to facilitate collaboration amongst students. These platforms can be particularly useful in the VET sector, where students often need to work together to complete complex tasks or projects. By providing opportunities for students to collaborate and learn from one another, RTOs can foster a sense of community and support that can greatly enhance the learning experiences. One more important trend in EdTech for VET is the use of online assessments. Online assessments can be a valuable tool for students and trainers as they allow for instant feedback and can be easily adapted to suit the individual needs of each student. For example, an RTO might use online quizzes, or test to gauge a student's understanding of the course material and then use this information to provide targeted support and resources to help them succeed. Now now let's have a look at strategies for engaging learners and creating effective learning experiences. Now that we've discussed some of the most effective ed tech tools and strategies for engaging students in the VET sector, let's move on to some other techniques that RTOs can use to create engaging and effective learning experiences. One key strategy for engaging learners to create learner-centred envir- environment. This means designing courses and activities that cater to the unique needs, interests and learning styles of each student. For example, an RTO might offer a range of different learning resources such as videos, 
podcasts and interactive simulations to ensure that all students can access the information in a way that suits them best. By providing a variety of learning options, RTOs can help students take ownership of their learning and stay engaged throughout their course. Another important strategy for engaging learners is to provide opportunities for students to apply their knowledge and skills in real-world contexts. In the VET sector, practical hands-on learning is often a key component of the curriculum. So it's crucial that RTOs provide students with opportunities to put their newly acquired skills to the test. This might include work placements, internship or industry partnerships that allow students to gain valuable experience and see the real world relevance of their training. Lastly, let's discuss the role of feedback in creating engaging learning experiences. Providing regular constructive feedback is essential for helping students understand their progress and identify areas for improvement. In the VET sector, feedback can take many forms, such as written or verbal comments, peer assessments, or even self-reflection exercises. By incorporating feedback into the learning process, RTOs can help students stay motivated and focused on their goals. Examples of successful learner engagement solutions in RTOs. Now let's have a look at some specific examples of how RTOs have successfully implemented learner engagement solutions in their VET programs. One successful example of gamification in VET comes from an RTO that implemented a virtual reality training program for automotive students. In this program, students were immersed in a realistic interactive environment where they could practice their skills on virtual vehicles. The program incorporated gamification elements such as challenges, rewards and leaderboards, which motivated students to improve their skills and compete with their peers. As a result, students reported increased engagement, improved retention of knowledge and a greater sense of achievement in their training. Another example of effective social learning in the VET sector is an RTO that used a project-based learning approach to facilitate collaboration amongst students studying construction trades. Students were grouped into teams and tasked with designing and building a small structure such as a shed or gazebo. Throughout the project, students use online collaboration tools to share ideas, give feedback and discuss challenges. This approach not only allowed students to learn from one another, but also provided them with valuable teamwork and problem-solving skills that are highly valuable for employers. Finally, let's look at an example of personalised learning in action. An RTO specialising in business and management courses implemented a flexible online learning platform that allowed students to access course materials and complete assessments at their own pace. The platform also used adaptive learning algorithms to provide personalised recommendations for additional resources and support based on each student's performance. As a result, students students reported increased satisfaction in their learning experience and trainers were able to provide more targeted support to help students succeed. So there you have it, an exploration of the challenges and benefits of delivering engaging training in the VET sector. We've discussed the power of technology and the emerging trends in EdTech and VET, such as gamification, social learning, and online assessments. We've also covered strategies for engaging learners and creating effective learning experiences, including learner-centered environments, real-world applications, and the importance of feedback. Finally, we've provided some specific examples of successful learner engagement solutions that have been implemented by RTOs in their VET programs. To recap, If you're looking to improve learner engagement in your VET programs, consider the following tips. Leverage technology effectively using tools such as gamification, social learning platforms and online assessments to engage and motivate students. Create a learner-centred environment that caters to the unique needs 
interests and learning styles of each student. Provide opportunities for students to apply their knowledge and skills in real-world contexts through practical hands-on experience. Incorporate regular, constructive feedback into the learning process to help students stay motivated and focused on their goals. By implementing these strategies, you can help create an engaging and effective learning experience for your students, leading to better outcomes for both students and trainers. Remember, as VET professionals, it's our job to empower our students with the skills and knowledge they need to succeed in their chosen careers. And engaging training is a crucial component of that mission. Thank you for joining me today in today's episode of the RTO Superhero Podcast. I hope you found our discussion valuable and gained some actionable insights to help improve your VET programs. Be sure to subscribe subscribe to our podcast to stay up to date with the latest trends and best practices in the vocational education and training sector. Until next time, I'm Angela Connell-Richards and I look forward to continuing this journey with you as we work together to empower the next generation of skilled professionals. Thank you for joining us at the RTO Superhero Podcast with me, Angela Connell Richards. Please take a moment to rate and review the podcast on your preferred podcast app. Each rating and review helps me fulfill my goal of helping training organisations around Australia to learn and grow in compliance and business success.